head back over to Jay and let's take a look at the power rankings for this week. I'm sure things have shifted a little bit after week one. Oh, yeah, big shakeup. And I think let's get it started right away. Florida A&M comes in at number five, considered to be one of the top HBCUs going into this season, coming off of two losses consecutive weeks. They look good against the University of North Carolina, did not look good against Jackson State a week ago. I've got the Rattlers coming in at number five on the list. Willie Simmons got to get it going to save their season. Number four, let's go on down to Baton Rouge, Southern University. What about an epic way to make an entrance to your first coaching debut? At Southern, Eric Dooley and the Jaguars put up 86 points against Florida Memorial, who was definitely outmanned, but 86 points is 86 points. They're doing a good job down there, Baton Rouge. Number three, most impressive victory of the weekend, possibly, was North Carolina Central defeating their Aggies of North Carolina a and the perennial power in HBCU football. But Trey Oliver got his most important victory of his young career with a quarterback like Davius Richard. Let's keep an eye on the Eagles. Number two, ugh, South Carolina State University, Buddy Pugh and the Bulldogs, the reigning HBCU national champions. They stall a slot, but it's no fault of their own. But Buddy Pugh will have the Bulldogs in contention with a very, very stingy, stingy defense that is capable of winning championships. So with that being All said, right, Jay, so I've got to know said, that a new number, one. number one is probably going to be very obvious here for anybody living under a rock. If you haven't heard about who the I love, you're going to know about them right now. And yes, do you believe that's the key. When you talk about Jackson State, they've got all the pieces of the puzzle that you want. Anytime you've got a quarterback playing at the level of a Shadour Sanders and a defense that features the likes of Travis Hunter, one of the best defensive players in all of FCS football, they can run, they can pass, they can do it all, and they've got that swag, and they got a coach by the name of Prime. Jackson State, the number one HBCU football team in the country right now. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.